So after my mammogram, um, I went home and um, my healthcare executive husband, being true to form, said, honey, how was your mammogram experience? And for a split second, I almost looked at him and I went, it was crushing. <laughs> I thought, no, I'm not going to do it. I know what he's asking. Me. And I said, I said it was great. And I told him about the staff and the caring and compassion and warmth of the staff. And I said, but you know, I said there were a couple of things that I would like to see maybe we could tweak. And he, he perked up and I said, they handed me two hospital gowns, one to the front, one to the back. Well, I thought, okay, I'm not sick. Why am I in a hospital gown? And so I thought, you know what? We need to just tweak this experience because the staff, the equipment, everything was wonderful. And I said, and there were some, some ladies that um, were, were standing, they weren't um, able to sit, and I said, and we were all just kind of in this room, it was a little darker than this, it was bland walls, and um, I thought, okay, can we do something? And Chuck, being the most wonderful man in the world, immediately said, yeah, I'll call Sarah. And within a week or two, sweet Sarah came over. And I presented this idea to her. And I, I said, you know, if we could make this a little bit more patient-centered, anxiety, stress-reducing experience. They said, we want to put a plaque, you know, and I said, that's fine, but can we put it in honor of my mom? In honor of my mama, I wanted to make this place a hopeful place for the ladies coming in. It was not in memoriam, it's in honor of her. So in honor <laughs> of your mother, you're dedicating this room and this road project. Breast Center Subwaiting Area, a gift from Judy Liswood Stokes in honor of her mother, Mary Byer Liswood, breast cancer survivor, 1908 to 2013. Embrace the detour. You may discover a new and better place.